Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be taking a look at waypoints. After posting my last video, when I was flying around in the south of the Netherlands, sort of along the border of a little town, um, at exactly 12 o'clock on New Year's Eve, um, I decided to use waypoints. Why did I use waypoints? Because at that point, I didn't want to be flying in the dark uh, in surroundings that I wasn't familiar with and make a mistake and end up above the little town while all the rockets are going off and the fireworks. So decided to actually uh, do a predetermined flight path and do all the settings for the camera and everything and sort of program that into the DJI Mavic 2 to make sure we don't get in trouble. After posting the video, I got some comments and questions from you guys on how to actually get everything programmed and predetermined in the drone. So at that point, I decided maybe interesting to do a tutorial um, and show you guys how I actually did it. Um, I'll be using a different location this time. So if you haven't seen the last video, go back and give it a quick check and come back here and see how we actually did it. I'll take you into all the pre-settings and set up a complete flight path. And then uh, if all goes well, we'll actually go to the location, let the drone take off and do an, an autonomous flight uh, around a church in my hometown here and uh, just see how that goes. So after that, you guys can test that out on your own drones. All right, let's get inside, let's do the programming. By the way, this is my actually my second vlog style video. So if you guys actually enjoy this kind of a video, uh, don't forget to like, uh, let me know in the comments and subscribe for more. Hey, okay, we're inside. First things first. Now, at this point, you turn actually, start turning everything on and connecting it. So you grab the drone, double click, hold it in, and then the drone will connect. At that point, we're going to move into the DJI app and wait for that one to set up and connect to the drone. After we've done all that, I'm going to take you into the screens and we're going to start setting up this flight. Okay, as you can see, everything is set up at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move into this little thing here. I'm going to switch over to a screen recording so you can see what I'm doing very closely. Okay, we are actually in the screen that we will be uh, using. So you see here the normal DJI setup uh, when you're connected to the drone. On the left side of the screen, you can see uh, where I'm actually situated at this moment and I will start to uh, move into slowly the setting that we're gonna be using. So what I did now, I'll go back, is actually clicked on the icon of the little controller, left side of the screen, and you will go into these settings. On the right side, right bottom corner, of course, you can see the waypoints. Let's hit the waypoints. And now I'm going to start to determine where I actually want the drone to be flying. So if we look a little bit to the right of the middle of the screen I'm going to start zooming in this here in the middle of the screen is a church so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to try and make a little circle around the church while the drone is actually filming the church and to do that of course on the top now you see blue we have the little waypoint icon on but what I want to do first is I actually want to uh, determine my point of interest so I'm going to hit the little star next to the waypoint icon and after hitting that, I can determine my point of interest. So I actually put the point of interest on the top of the church. And as you can see, we have a little um, um, yeah, box under there showing zero meters. That will actually determine how high the camera will be pointing uh, when looking at this point of interest. So if we click on that, on the bottom of the screen, we'll see zero meters. Well, of course, we're filming a church, so we're going to want to angle that up a little bit. So we'll move up on the screen and let's, let's just say we'll put that at 30 meters up. So now we have determined uh, our point of interest and actually programmed our camera to be filming or looking at this point of interest um, at about a height of 30 meters. Now that we've done that, we can start to set up uh, the different waypoints. So where do we want the drone to actually fly to, uh, to start um, it's a circle around the church. So let's just choose a point 
And now we're going to go back to the waypoint. So as you can see, top of the screen, we're not focused on the little star anymore. Now the little uh, waypoint icon is turned blue. So I'll put in the first waypoint about there. And you can see it actually starts up with a height of 50 meters. I will want it up a little bit more because I want to be sure that I'm not actually going to uh, hit anything while I'm flying around. So we're going to hit the one. And on the bottom of the screen you can see there's all kinds of settings that we can look at there. So we're actually going to be using um, an altitude of let's say 60 meters. So I'm going to be moving that up by moving my finger up along the screen. The speed next to it, we'll leave that at cruising speed. Uh, flying direction route, we'll leave that uh, like that as well. Uh, but what we do want to do is we want to um, actually start the camera at that point. So we'll tell the drone that when it actually gets there, uh, because we will be starting from a different location and just letting the drone uh, take off and actually start running this program. So what it'll do then is it'll actually fly to waypoint one and we're gonna tell it now, when you arrive at waypoint one, you are going to start recording. And uh, next to that, now you see POI and it says none. Now we're gonna hit that and we're actually gonna select POI one because that is the church that we're gonna be filming. All right, so now actually we have set uh, uh, our parameters for uh, the first waypoint. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to uh, click the screen, we're going to go out of the settings of the first waypoint, and we are going to determine the second waypoint. So as we want to make a circle around the church, of course I'm going to be choosing a location to the right in this instance, and again clicking on the two, which will take me into the settings of two, we are going to again go to 60 meters, and we are going to leave it at cruising speed for this uh, tutorial. Uh, we're not gonna touch root, we're not gonna do anything with the gimbal pitch. Uh, camera action, actually nothing, because we already told it uh, to start recording at waypoint one, so now all we have to do is tell it that while we are going to waypoint two, and uh, as we actually hit waypoint two, we are going to be still focusing on one. Now you see the actual little point of the waypoint at that point uh, confirming that we're going to be looking at, um, at the church. So we're going to speed this up a little bit and get straight into waypoint 3 and 4. And at that point we are going to uh, tell of course the drone uh, that we're done and it can return to home also. Alright, waypoint 3 coming up. There we go. So you see we're actually making a circle around the church, we're going to hit waypoint 3. And while we're hitting waypoint 3, again, altitude 60 meters up in the air, POI 1. Of course, still leaving everything at cruising speed. Moving into waypoint 4. And, of course, again, at waypoint 4, we're going to have to match all these settings. Of course, this time I'm just leaving everything the same when we're looking at height and speed and stuff like that, but you can actually change points of interest for each different waypoint. You can change altitudes, you can change speed, uh, you can uh, uh, do things with the camera, but I think that's pretty clear up to now. So let's just keep everything moving along so we won't make this video too long. We've actually now programmed waypoint four, and when we're done with waypoint four, we can hit the screen again. And now we have actually finished. What we'll see when I start the screen recording, because what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for the sun to come out a little bit. And um, at that point, I'm going to go to a location near this church, uh, not actually one of the waypoints. I'm going to let the dr uh, start the drone up, connect everything get the drone up in the sky and then we're just going to hit the green go button that you are seeing in the left side of the screen now. Um, of course in the meantime I'll be turning everything off so at this point we're actually going to hit the little um, uh, save button. Task saved successfully it says there and of course it's difficult for you guys to see what I just did but you have the uh, icons at the top of the screen. The blue one now is the waypoints, the one next to it, remember that, that was the point of interest. 
And if you actually want to save this routine, you hit the third one there with a little sort of yeah, SD card kind of symbol on it. So now we've actually preset everything. We've saved it so we can start turning stuff off and uh, find a location where we uh, want to actually uh, get the drone up in the sky, hit the go button, and we'll see what happens from that point on. So join me outside again. At this point, we're going to start up the drone. Okay. I'm gonna shoot the drone up to about 80 meters. Then we're gonna go into the settings for the waypoint flight. A little bit above 80 meters reached. Now we click the icon on the left showing the little controller, choose waypoints, at that point task recover, and then we will see what we actually were building at home. Now is the time to hit go, then we will get a little checklist popping up at that point to show us all the settings that we've chosen, and from that point uh, we can actually start uh, flying and uh, let it run its course. Immediately you will see the drone turning towards waypoint one and actually starting to make its way over there. Once it reaches one, it'll start to run the program that we have programmed and go from one, two, three to four. And then actually when we hit four, it will do a return to home. Now in the programming in the meantime, I have uh, you know, sort of let the drone know that um, if somewhere along the way, running through all these waypoints, it loses connection with the controller, uh, you can still make the choice uh, to either at that point let the drone return to home when connection is lost or to finish up going past all the waypoints um, and then return to home. So these are all kinds of little settings that you can still do in that checkbox uh, that we had just before we uh, entered uh, this waypoint program. All right rest of this clip I'm going to speed up a little bit. Right bottom hand corner you can actually see what the drone at this point is uh, seeing with the camera. Um, and when you look um, at the map that we have big on the screen you can actually see the drone you know, turning, getting all set up at this point and uh, getting ready to stun, start to run the program and then return home. So I'll just let you have a look at that real quick. I'll speed it up a little bit and I'll be right back. The drone has returned and is now requesting to land, so uh, I use the controls but not the slide on the screen and coming in for landing. And we have touchdown, so there you go, that was our flight part of this video. Now back inside. To okay, that went well. So now we're back inside. Um, I hope you liked the video, I hope it uh, added some value for you and if you guys are going to go out and try this yourself, uh, maybe put a link to your video somewhere in the comments below and I'll come have a look how that worked out. If you have any questions uh, about this video, let me know. Um, and if you have any ideas on tutorials that you'd like to see, um, of course, post them below and I'll see what I can do. Till next time, catch you later.